Hey friends, Dr. Susie G here, and in this video, you're gonna learn all about male pelvic anatomy. So if you're a penis owner, listen up. This one's for you. Well, here is the male pelvis. You can see you, we have the skeleton of the pelvis. The bony parts of the butt that you sit on are called the ischial tuberosities. If you were to put your hands on your hips, you will feel the ilia or the wings of the pelvis. If I turn this model around, you'll notice a triangular bone here called the sacrum, which is the base of your spinal column. The rest of your spinal column sits on top of that. And then if we were to lie you on your back, you'll notice a, an arrangement of muscles here in between the sit bones. So this collectively is called the perineum. Now, the superficial muscles that you see here are wrapping around the base of your penis. And these muscles are uber important for sexual function. These muscles help to maintain and sustain an erection. In addition, these muscles are also important for ejaculation. So when you're ready to ejaculate, these muscles squeeze and release involuntarily several times in order to help expel semen out of your body. Another muscle here that's important to note is the external anal sphincter. So you've used this muscle before if you've had a fart and you didn't want to let it out until it's ready. <laughs> so that's the external anal sphincter. And if we were to look inside the pelvis to look at the deeper pelvic muscles, that you see in here, those muscles are going from your pubic bone all the way to your tailbone. And so they're kind of like an, a hammock-like arrangement of muscles here. And these muscles are important for supporting your pelvic organs, like your bladder and your prostate and your rectum that live inside the bowl of the pelvis. They also are important for postural stability and adaptability, pressure control, and they're really important with pooping and peeing function. So going to the urogenital organs, so if we were to take out the bladder and the prostate, don't try this at home, you will notice here is the storage tank we call your bladder, and then you have the prostate, and then the penile urethra, which is the tube that empties your bladder and goes all the way through your penis. And so these structures are living inside of the pelvis. And so you can see that there are many, many structures that overlap and communicate with each other inside the pelvis. And structures that we didn't mention in this video but are important to note include the nerves that supply and innervate the pelvis and also the blood vessels that supply the pelvis, which are really important as far as function in this pelvic system. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button below. This will help other people in your situation, looking for information, or just struggling with pelvic pain, find these videos. If you're a penis owner who is struggling with pelvic pain, please check out the Pelvic Pain Relief Program. That link is in the description below.